Hello and welcome back to Batankaitos Origins, where today we are going to be continuing in clearing out this dark service HQ. Uh, we gotta go into all the rooms to get a code to open the locker room so that we can do the that and stop the things. So, we got code A. Oh, there's lightning shrooms here. Do I, or uh, rather, the base form. Do I need those? Hey, we've got thorn flower nectar now. And these have become nameless flowers, so that's not great. Probably should have checked to see if I could use them in any upgrades somewhere. Maybe I did and I just don't remember. I don't know. And we're going to move that over there so that it doesn't age so fast. And, yeah, I think we're good here. I modified Dex ever so slightly. Just to add in a couple new things we found. Hopefully it'll make a difference. Because actually the fight that I got into at the end of the last episode, I ended up losing. So I had to redo what I had done between the last save and that fight. So yeah, hopefully I don't end up with any of that. Oh, that thing's still alive, huh? Hopefully Millie kills it so Sasagi doesn't have to use his action on it. No, Millie did not kill it. Okay, let's go ahead and just get some HP on Millie. Hopefully she doesn't get killed before she gets said HP. We'll get some HP on Soggy as well. And we'll go ahead and toss that. And then we can actually have Gilo use a card. Uh, let's get rid of that and that. As soon as we get that Paramachina out, we're fairly safe. Not completely safe. The sleep shots do hurt and they put us to sleep, which is not a good combo. But as long as we don't have multiple people asleep at once, should end up okay. And let's go ahead and use, have Gilo use that. Never hurts to have the whole party at full health. Millie's level 3 electric thing is actually a um, AoE, which is nice. I hadn't paid enough attention to what was going on with the enemies to realize it was an AoE until very recently. Really? Why didn't it let me use the two? I tried to use the two. Whatever. Sagi's probably going to kill a guy with that Godling's Rapture. Yep, he killed a guy with it. Tends to be pretty good at just killing randos. Okay, good, we win.
And we'll grab some of these. Because Soggy's got his new lightning sword, which I imagine might need a lightning shroom to upgrade. There's a chance. So we're just going to go ahead and make one. Worst case scenario, oh no, we don't use it for that. And instead use it for some other thing it can be used for. It's not a really terrible scenario. Not in my eyes. I don't know. And then let's just grab a couple more of these. We've already got everything we need to make a lightning shroom, but we might as well make more shrooms. And that'll do. Okay. Out we go. Then we gotta go into this next room. Ha! So where's the next code? I don't see anything sparkling. Is it just on the table? No. Ah, there's the sparkle. All right, so A1, C0. Whoop. Does it always have to be two Paramachina and two dudes? Seriously, the fact that it's two pair Machina and two dudes doesn't help. If it was just, you know, three, two or three enemies, it would be way easier to just get through, no problem. Still not dead. Uh, let's actually heal Millie. She's got lightning more than Gilo has at the moment. Let's use Felstar Gleam just to see it. getting damage on him and getting him knocked down, but the Paramachina is what we really need to focus on. Would have been nice if we had the Ascension, but still, that Paramachina is basically dead. Let's help Gilo out. after I told Millie to do things. I wish they wouldn't heal themselves. May my blade be sharp.
Good, everyone gets to survive. Everyone on our team, that is. Important distinction. And we win. You win! That wasn't so tough. Okay, so that's done, but we'll just leave it in there until another one finishes. Oh, it's Savina. Yeah, that's not great. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Well, unless they're building more Paramachina, I think there will be an end to them eventually. Got a lot of healing supplies right now. Not super useful at this moment, though. Eh, let's use that. And then if we wait just a moment... Whoa there. Just waiting for Gilo to go... I don't know what... Oh, it was Soggy I was waiting for. That's right. So now let's get some health on Gilo. Um, let's get rid of these. something to actually use it with. Right. Let's get some help on Millie. Of course, now Gila's got this available, so... The heal on Gil M Millie. Not Gilly. The heal from Gila on Millie will be nice. But the heal specifically on Millie will not be as worthwhile. We'll see how worthwhile it ends up being. Nice and down goes Soggy for sleep. Oh, good. Gilo just barely lived and now is fully healed. Oh, one of the Paramachina is dead. And we'll get rid of that. Didn't use Millie's special, even though it was more important than Gilo's. Still, that pair of Machina is not having a good time. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Let's give that to Soggy then. Thanks. So many level ones. Oh, 
All right, that guy's basically dead. No, not actually dead yet, though. Now he's dead. Why didn't it let me have Gilo join in with fights? Fights? Attacks. Like, sometimes it just ends the turn prematurely, and I don't know why. Okay, now we can pop these on out and then right back in and over here. We can make another one of these and there we go. You okay or are you dead? You're dead. All right, let's go in here. There's the sparkle. Oh. Was hoping they would turn to face away from each other again so I could sneak in between them. But no, it was not to be. And we'll use that. Saki can pitch that. And then... Heal Millie. She didn't take that much damage, but it can still be. Oh, but it did take away her special that she used. Because she went where she would have gone after she got put to sleep. So we just got cheated out of a level 3 special. And I guess Soggy can pitch that. Let's help Millie, actually. was going to say Gilo, but then Millie got lower. Paramakina's okay. almost down. Now it's going to be down. May my blade be sharp. Attention. And it is dead now. I guess we're just using a one. If I had waited just a moment, we could have used that transcension. Oh well. Ooh, Soggy's not having a good time, but Gilo is closer to dead. Um, I guess we'll use this. Or Gilo will die. Gilo, get back up, please. We can't have two members of our party on the floor. Let's use that, hopefully. Good, no one dies, so Gilo gets to max heal everyone. That's a Paramachina down. So nice being able to get that full heal, even if only Gilo can use the card. The fact that it's a full party heal is fantastic. We needed that way earlier in the game. Farewell. 
attention! Skip Saki. Have Millie do that. we can get away from the other one. Good. Okay, so that was code B and it was two, so one, two, oh. And I guess Savina will be in here. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, look at all those shrooms. Uh-oh. Good job, Gilo. Got to protect that timeline. this part isn't voiced. I guess because it's a side quest, technically. Well, let's grab that. Okay, so it's 1209. She sure doesn't say much. Eh, she probably just wants to kill us. I mean, we kind of caused her dad to die. Can we get out without a fight? Ooh, looks like it. Then we get up into here. Good, the enemies in here stayed dead. Enter the code. Uh, A was one, right? B was two, right? C was O, right? D was nine. Hooray, I remembered. Like, actually remembered. I didn't take notes this time. Only mental ones. Good. All right, but first I've got to visit the safe flower because I am almost positive there will be a boss on the other end. So, saving for safety. Oop. Tried to duck around it, but my finger didn't do the input right. It's 
nice that we don't really get put to sleep every time they use Slumber Shot. Still happens a lot, but not every time, which is good. Healing Millie. Uh, we don't need that weapon. Gilo, we'll have you go for the other Paramachina just in case the one we're working on dies. I don't know that it will, but with anti sentient Blitz happening here, it might. Yeah, it's dead. And up to level 5 we go, and Zagi's asleep, thankfully, after he killed the thing. Don't die, Millie. I mean, there's nothing I can do to really help you right now, but just don't die. Okay. Um, Millie, help Soggy. He's got a good weapon right now. this point we have basically one but uh, let's okay good he didn't die he gets rescued and then yeah sure he'll heal up And she's having nap time, which is unfortunate because we just queued her up to use two specials. Alright, that guy has crumpled. One enemy left. And as soon as Soggy goes, I do believe we win. So let's just watch. May my blade be sharp. Yep. That's all it took. You win. Does that even count as a fight? Hooray! We gained a level. Alright, now we can get these out here. Get that out there. And then... Sure, another lightning shroom for us. And into here we go. Ooh, chests. Do not interfere. Uh, because I don't need to. No, oh, that's neat. Mm, don't know about that. What are you, a Dalek? Wow, look at all those. 
So what, do those create Paramachina? Because Paramachina have been flooding out of here for a while now, right? Where'd all the new ones come from? I thought there was a locker, not a factory. Three Paramachina at once might be a little tricky, but we'll manage. It actually didn't hurt so bad. Yeah, their regular attack combo hurts more. It's kind of silly. So apparently I just accidentally made my way into a combo there. Not gonna do a relay. And we'll go ahead and use force. On Gila's next turn, we might use the book. One down. May my blade be sharp. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Get rid of that and that. And then get rid of that. I, why did it just give me the... I should have been able to use that. Why did it just decide that I couldn't? What happened that made it not doable? I mean, admittedly, I wasn't watching the actual battle that was happening, so maybe, like, Millie got her turn delayed and that stopped the relay combo, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to pay attention to both what's going on in the fight and also what cards you're using when you have such a limited time to actually pick and use cards. Mm, yeah, Millie. Okay, that time it did more damage with that than it would have with its base combo thing. So I guess it's not always that the base combo is stronger. But hey, there's only one of them left, so... Who knows how many more sets we're gonna have to fight. And it's dead. You win. Thanks for making it easy. Hooray for levels. So two more sets and then the main one. Interesting how they come out of the pods in sets of four, but then we fight sets of three. May my blade be sharp. And we've got our book ready to go. So as long as Gilo lives, we're good.
Well then. Mm. Yeah, might as well. And again, I have accidentally stumbled my way into a full turn combo thing. With a pretty neat name, I must say. And apparently with a full heal, too. That was a heck of a chop. Mm. And we'll slap that down. There. We're just gonna really kill one of those. And it's dead now. Oh. I wasn't aware that that ascension would heal him. So I just had her throw away a potion on someone who couldn't really use it. Oh well. Worse things have happened. Nice knockdown. Gives us some breathing room. There. We pretty much win at this point. Yep. At first it was knocked down just from a stun, but then the stun stars went away and it stayed knocked down. That's when you know it's dead. So, one more set. Yeah. Hmm. I think let's go. Oh look, another three paramachina. Bet you the last battle will also have three paramachina, considering there were two still in lockers. And there's the main one. Stop slapping Millie. that. Okay, heal Saki. Get Millie some help. It's amazing how quickly Millie can get us up to level four when she gets the right cards. Oh, 
And now we win. Yep, it's dead now. All right. I guess it just gives us the option to fall back in case we want to change things up before we fight another two sets of three of these. And that's why it was like, oh, do you think we should charge in or fall back? But, like, if you already came through two sets, unless it was by the skin of your teeth, I don't see why you would fall back. Ow! Kilo, fix that. This is bound to hurt. That seven star dust really does eat through weapons. Be this one down. I just want to see some fireworks. And, uh, we don't need this weapon. Okay, we've got almost everything. Yeah, let's use that. And then go fishing for a two. There it is. I, uh, using the book kept me from having the level five, and I didn't get it back with just three cards. So we didn't get to see the real fireworks, but we did win anyway. You win! Does that even count as a fight? Uh-huh. Who knows? Okay. And we'll go ahead and grab that on out of there. Really, the other one's already downgraded. Those things do not last long at all. What do we get here? Okay, that's not amazing. And that's also not amazing. Well, let's go get our reward and then we'll end the episode. Oh, hey, they seem to have calmed down. Or maybe they just weren't looking at us. I don't know. So we were supposed to talk to one of the guys outside a room somewhere? Not him. One of you? Okay, none of you. Uh, oh, it's the guy outside the Quaster's room. So, you.
Yeah, Per Machina and Rebellion, etc. Okay, thanks. So I guess now we can get a level 3 attack aura. Either way, it's time to end this episode. Join us next time when we go do other things. See you then, friends. <laughs>